were fighting to keep hold of players. Rouse and Gabriel signed for Boreham Wood and then Olu. But to lose players like that virtually over the space of a few weeks has unsettled us. I always wanted to play football and I was always annoyed that they wouldn't let me play with the boys. I'm, I'm from a generation where girls weren't allowed to play football and I used to get really annoyed about that. He's a rescue dog, he's a Brussels griffin crossed with a pug, so they call him a brug. I wanted a border terrier, it was the closest I could find to a border terrier. We got Bertie a couple of years ago and he's quite a bustling character and he likes being about people so I thought I'd bring him along and everybody seems to like him here. He's become a bit of a lucky omen, he has seen us lose a couple of times but uh, I'm loath to not bring him because if we lose it might be my fault for not bringing him. I'm convinced that he likes the football, but I think he's probably the burgers and the chips that he's more interested in. I live in Tottenham, I relocated nearly 10 years ago from the West Midlands. Moved down here and it took me a couple of years to sort of find myself down here, but uh, I ended up coming here when we were in the Essex League. There was averaging 30, 40 spectators a game and it's just slowly picked up. It just shows that all the hard work that uh, Tom and Aki and that are putting in is, is paying off. A uh, long way it continue. Have you got Nigella in yet? Yeah. Uh, uh, cook. Oi, Nigella. Nigella. Doing a nice uh, chicken kebab for the boys that just finished their training so they can have something to eat before they go home. I look after the boys, don't worry, you know? We got Harry, one of our uh, volunteers and supporters, made uh, chicken kebabs for everybody after the game. We thought they'd done so well on Saturday, played the majority of the game uh, against uh, 11 players. We, uh, we, had, we had a player sent off early on in the game, so we thought we'd give them a little bit of treat. It's something we do once or every two months, um, just to, to get the boys in together to eat after training. My name's Terry Scott and I support Margate and I've supported Margate since I was eight years old and they are pretty much my life. They're, they're my boys, they're my team, I, I, you know, I've just got to go. If I don't get to go and see a game it really upsets me, it does, does me in for the week. When I apply for the job I'm doing now I, uh, I told them that I can't do Saturday. I think I've travelled more over this country than I with, with Margate Football Club than I have with my family. So I leave my husband at home with the kids every weekend and go and, go and see the Margate boys play. I always wanted to play football and I was always annoyed that they wouldn't let me play with the boys. I'm, I'm from a generation where girls weren't allowed to play football and I used to get really annoyed about that. What we got now, I wish I'd been able to do that myself. I'd have loved to, loved to have been able to yeah, get more involved in playing side of it, but I did coaching, so, you know. That's what they do. They kick, they punch, they spit. You don't react. Simple. It's done now. We move forward. Shut the door. Oh, this boy, boy. Massive up. Come on. I would say I've been coming to this club over maybe 13 years. It's changed so much. It's yeah. changed so much. We've got a good manager, Tommy, who's built the club up. No, 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 no. I'm It's so frustrating when you see them boys and you, and you think, oh my god, the girl's got to come and it misses. Oh god. The frustration in the game, you know what I mean? Yeah, I love it. I just love every game, love being here. 
the, the support we're getting now, you know. We're getting! Hey! Come on, That's what it's all about, isn't it? Coming down here, have a laugh and go. Oh, 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 oh. Your mic. How does that feel with 10 players? Pick it up, Anderson. Enjoy your win. Great reaction, by the way, from the defeat from last week to Howler. Absolutely great reaction. And I thought we got our just rewards with the goal at the end. You know, that's, and that's a great three points considering results in the other games as well. My name is obviously Thomas, but a lot of people know as Tucker. <laughs> I think I've been here now just around the five-year mark. I think we, we had just been promoted from the Essex Senior League. We are where we are at the minute, which is second in the table. We are where we are because we've put the work in and we believe we should be at that position at the minute. Got to be clever. I thought as soon as they got ahead. Before I had to get by, I came, I came into football. I mean, I spent a lot of my years on the building side, believe it or not. I mean, obviously, you know, you look this gorgeous. I, you know, you wouldn't think I was on the building line, would you? <laughs> my eldest boy brought me into football, really. Jumped on the coaching, uh, got up to my youth for B, which I'm quite happy with. And then Michael, who now plays for Helen Gebara. My wife, who I call the Queen, she's here every home game. We're a chips and burger, but she is a diehard Helen Gebara, my good grief. My daughter, who's a disabled in the wheelchair user, she. She comes down when the weather's good, so she loves it down here. And I place her right below the belly and boys. She loves all that singing and shouting and roaring. So, yeah, it's really the family. We're, we're all Borough fans, in fairness. Stalking the top, and they deserve to be top. We've never been, or we were never expected to be top of the league. Being top of the league brings its own pressures. Um, we didn't handle that too well, to be fair. Uh, Herringer Borough have always been an underdog, and um, we're in second position now. We're fighting to keep hold of players. Rouse and Gabriel signed for Boreham Wood, and then Olu. But to lose players like that virtually over the space of a few weeks has unsettled us. Since that uh, FA Cup run with Wimbledon, we've had a lot of interest from other clubs, clubs at a high level uh, for our players. We've hunted for players. The hardest thing is getting them in within our budget. But it's what makes my job exciting. Um, it's like wheeling and dealing, if you like. Three players go out, I've got to look for three new players. And I think the replacements I've made are very good signings. We managed to get hold of Kudos from Dartford. The lad Dimitri Froxelius. <laughs> New player comes to the club that they they bring out two infamous fans to, to kind of to rubber stamp the deal. Really, I mean, obviously this guy's heard of the Belen boys over wherever he was. Well, they've obviously got to get past us. <laughs> no, 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 no standing on the astroturf, please. <laughs> Tell me about that. Obviously, you guys carry quite a lot of weight. <laughs> Cheers, no, it's very nice to be in the safe Wrong spot. words, wrong yeah, words. Tom just invited us to, you know, um, give, give the guy the one sofa. First time I'm sure he fits in. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, look, look here, look. Yeah, look, you know. See? You doing? Oh, Scott, Good. Right, mate. So, yeah, so it's a meet and greet with Pedro and Nick. We're made up now, we're excited now. Look, we are. We're really excited. <laughs> That's a really long shot, what a goal that is! Superb finish, and it's Brightlands who take the lead. What in front of him, for God's sakes! Come on, ref, you know, ref, get him to move the ball, man! Hey, ref, I let him push, man! He's gonna run through, though, to O'Donoghue, goes towards the back post, headed down, brilliant yeah! save, and it's gonna be in for the game! Get in there! Get, get Femi's number. Ricky, get yourself ready. Oh, Maka! 
as their one last twist in the tail. It's a brilliant shot, almost went in, off the bar, and there's follow-ups gone wide. How the did he miss that? Oh my God. Joseph Yaxi will be disappointed for the second time in the last few minutes and Gabriel shows a turn of pace and suddenly Haringey are now on the attack into the box. Lovely run from Gabriel, what a goal this would be, all the way through to the summer two. It's My ticker is pounding. <laughs> My ticker's pounding. Listen, all I told you, I told you from the beginning. Shush! It's all about competing. They wanted it more than we did. First half, we wanted it more than they did. Second half, look how we feel now. We're in the race. This is that. The second half, it should be every game like this. Same tempo, same energy, same everything, boys. Well done, a lot of you. Well done, superb. <laughs>I felt like I was fighting for my life for about 25 minutes. I was fighting to stay awake and stay alive, and my heart stopped for 30 seconds. Next thing I knew, I opened my eyes, I had uh, six paramedics around me and um, a panicking girlfriend. <laughs>